Okay, so for this question, a few things to identify quite quickly. Um, this is going to be 90 degrees here because it's an angle between a radius and a tangent and you need to write that down. I'm not going to, but you do need to write that down in your exam. Um, and something else to realize is we, if I draw a line here, then that will also be 90 degrees there. But more importantly, the circle theorem says that whenever you have two tangents, the distance between the intersect, that where they touch each other, where they meet, and where they hit the circle is equal. So this is equal to this distance here. Therefore, the two triangles we have, the one on the left, so triangle A and triangle B, are going to be mathematically congruent, which means they're exactly the same. And the reason for that is those two lengths we've just identified are equal, these two lengths here are equal, and this is what we call a shared length. Let's just make sure that I, there we go. This is a shared length between them. And congruency for triangles, if you have SSS, so all the sides are the same, then those two triangles must be congruent. This means that this angle here is actually X as well. Those two angles are equal. Therefore, to answer this question is very, very easy. You just do 180, take away, and then the 90 degrees, this one here, plus the 55 given to us in the question. So when we do that, we're going to have 35 degrees as an answer. Now, there's quite a lot of working out or quite a lot of written answers you need. So you need to identify that the angle between the tangent and the radius is 90 degrees. You also need to identify the fact that the um, lengths of the tangents are equal. Um, so I might write equal lengths of tangents. Um, and say where they meet to where they hit the circle. Um, we also need to identify the fact that the two triangles are mathematically congruent or just congruent. Uh, so you need that in your answer, the fact that the reason that this is X here is because all the angles and all the lengths are the same in both those triangles. So there's quite a lot of writing you need to put down for that question. Um, you could have also, instead of SSS, you could have also um, used RHS, um, RHS, so you've got two right angle triangles, therefore uh, it's right angle, that's the R. H, the hypotenuse, is shared between both of them, so that's going to be uh, the same. And S we're using as the blue uh, angle, so we still use that as uh, the circle theorem.